Okay, so hopefully you were able to watch the first video in which she showed you how to create your own baby shower tags using nothing but Microsoft Word. Again, that was to create more of the printables and more of the square or rectangular baby shower tags. If you want to create circular tags, the easiest Microsoft application I've found um, that is very prevalent is using PowerPoint. And again, you can do this in just a few minutes. Here are a couple different examples of some tags that I created using Microsoft PowerPoint and uh, a browser. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is download the fonts that you want to use. Um, I'm going to be using Sago script for the tags I'm going to be showing you today. So we're going to go ahead and download the TTF file. And all you really need when installing a new font is that TTF file. And we're going to go ahead and save that to our desktop so we know where to find it. Okay. What I'm going to be showing you is how to install a new font for my operating system, which is Microsoft 7. Uh, so all you're going to do is click on the new font, and as we can see, it's our TTF font. We're going to right click and click on install. I've already installed this, it's a font I use often. We're going to replace it, and I really just wanted to show you um, the process of going out and installing a new script. Now that we have the script we want to use, the very first thing we're going to want to do is add our ruler and grid line. And the reason we want to do this is typically when you create a circular type of tag, you're not going to freeform cut that out. Um, if you freeform and try to use scissors to cut it on your own, uh, it's not going to look very um, clean as well as it's very time consuming. So you're going to want to purchase a cutter and you can go to, or a punch, I should say, and you're gonna to go to any sort of craft store, you can buy them online, um, and they sell them by diameter. I typically use a two and a quarter inch in diameter punch. Um, so what you're gonna do is use the ruler to insert a circle and create a two and a quarter inch circle, okay? So now that we have our circle, we can actually remove our ruler and grid lines. And what we want to do, since we're creating this elephant tag, is we're going to make this a very light fill and remove the outline. The reason why we want to have a light fill is so we can have a gauge in terms of how we want to arc our text. Okay? We're going to actually be removing this once we complete the tag. The next thing we want to do is actually insert a text box. And we're going to type, thanks for coming. And we're going to want to highlight this change this to gray, and we're going to change the font to a 14 and use our Sago script. Okay. Very next thing we want to do is actually format that. And again, we click on the format while the text box is highlighted, click on text effects, transform, and we want to arc up. Then what we're going to want to do is move this box. And as we can see, as I move the box down, the arc is going to come down further, as I move it out, it's going to get moved out further. If I wanted to straighten that, I can move that up. Showing you the basic um, ways to use the arc, but again, it's pretty simple once you've been playing with this for um, just a few minutes, you can pick it up pretty quickly. Now how I'm moving this around in a fine-grained way is I'm actually holding down the control button and moving on my arrows left to right. That's a way you can actually move objects around in a much more fine-grained way than using the um, mouse, which I think is can become a little tedious when you're trying to space things just right. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Now I want to add in my second text box in terms of Eileen's baby shower. And once again, I'm going to highlight this and use that same gray. Use a 14 font, our Sago script. We're going to click on format, text effects, and this time we're going to arc down. Once again, we're going to play with the shape of the arc to get it to fit in the text box. Now you can see this pink here. We can use this to change the arc, to change the severity of the arc if we wanted to make it less or more of an arc. Okay. It looks like we're missing some of the text there, so. Let's move that up a little bit. There we go. Eileen's baby shower. Okay. Now that we have the font in a pretty good circle, we can actually delete that circle. We don't need that anymore. We're going to be again using the cutter to cut that out. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and insert our shape. I'm a, personally a big fan of um, using the same themes 
from the invitations all the way through the shower. So if you used a elephant's um, it, um, invitation, such as this one, you can very easily find that wherever you ordered your invitations from. You can right click on the image and click on copy. And I don't know if that got cut off, I'll show you. You can right click and then click on copy. And then you can simply go back to your PowerPoint and click on paste. Now that we have the image here, we need to format that image and crop that image. And you know it's cropped when you see the black highlights on the bottom. And we're simply going to cut out the part of the picture that we don't need. Pretty much everything other than the elephant. And then we can simply move that in. And we want to make that a little bit bigger. And we can see here that it's actually cutting off the text a little bit. So we can right click and we want to send it back. And now it's not going to be cutting off the text with the background. The next thing um, I personally like to do, and again this is just my own, is clicking on the image and clicking on format and changing the brightness. And I'm going to change that to a plus 20. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this text again and move this back up. And again, using the control and the arrow keys to do that. Sometimes it's a little tricky getting a hold of the image once you already have the words in there. So that's all we did there. And then finally, we just want to insert our text box and type in 5, 16, 11, which is the date of our baby shower. Change that to a gray, change this to a 10 point. And what we want to do is actually add our separators in. So we're going to insert a symbol and put our symbol in. And if you saw what I did there, I clicked on insert symbol. I clicked on the symbol I wanted to insert, clicked on the insert button, and then clicked on close. And then we can simply move this to our baby shower cutout. Okay, pretty easy. Now let's show you how to create this pink cutout. Once again, the very first thing we're going to want to do is add in our ruler and grid lines. We're going to want to insert, sorry about that, a circle, and we're going to want to make this two and a quarter inches. Okay. Now what we want to do is unselect our ruler and grid line, and we are going to want to format our shape fill. We want to make this hot pink. And our shape we want to change to a gray. And we want to change the weight of our outline to two and a quarter. And we want to change the line to actually be a double line. Thicker on the outside, thinner on the inside. Okay? You can't really tell on the screen, but when it prints out, it actually prints out pretty nice. The next thing we're going to want to do is insert another shape and we're going to put a circle inside of the circle and again I'm holding down the control key and moving the arrows around much more fine-grained way of actually doing that and we're going to make our circle just a little smidge smaller okay once you have the right effect you can go ahead and highlight click on format fill this shape with pink change the outline to a white and change the outline to a dash. Finally, we're going to put in the thanks for coming, it's a girl. I've already showed you how to create the arcs, so I'm not going to do that again. What I'm going to do is copy and paste, just for time purposes. Again, I've already showed you how to do that. And it's a girl. And then finally, we can put our text in the middle in terms of adding another text box of aliens baby shower 5, 16, 11. And we can go ahead and move that in the middle, highlight that, change the text to white, center that, change that to go script, change that to a 12 point font, and bold that that in the middle 
And then finally, insert our separator to make that a date. And it's as simple as that. Um, pretty easy to create baby shower tags using nothing but Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. I hope that was informative. To find other really useful baby shower ideas, as well as some examples of some of the tags that um, were created using Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, you can go to diy-babyshower.com. Again, that's diy-babyshower.com for lots of fun and useful um, ideas for throwing a baby shower. Thanks so much, and I hope you found this useful.